How can one drug have two names? Stick around to find out. What's up, Groovy Gang? Asmine here, Junior Doctor from London. If you're from the UK like me, you will know that paracetamol or Panadol is a very common over the counter painkiller. But if you're from America, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. But that's because the exact same painkiller is called acetaminophen or Tylenol in the US. Cheeky tip when you're traveling ask for Tylenol in the US and paracetamol anywhere else in the world, and you will likely find the drugs you're looking for. Okay, so it makes sense to have different brand names in different countries. You can look up paracetamol brand names on Wikipedia to find the brand in your country. But why is the name of the actual medicine different? To find out, we need to look at the actual full chemical name of the drug. That is N-acetylparaaminophenol, and that's a relatively simple name in the grand scheme of things. <sighs> Pharmaceutical companies typically chop and change these chemical names into words that are easier to use in everyday language. We can clearly see how the word acetaminophen can be chopped out of the full name. It's even easier to see how you can chop out the word Tylenol. If we make some more involved adjustments, we get paracetamol, although Panadol requires a bit more imagination. So that's how the common drug names are derived from the full chemical name. Whatever you call it, it's sure easier than saying n acetyl paraminophenol every time or P-acetamidophenol, or the official IUPAC name, N-4-hydroxyphenolacetamide. I need to stop, my brain hurts. Maybe I should take some paracetamol. But why have different names in the first place? How did this happen? Well, paracetamol is the official international non-proprietary name, or INN, in accordance with the World Health Organization. And paracetamol is the first name on the Wikipedia article, and that's all that really matters. Meanwhile, the US uses United States adopted names, USAN, and it's sometimes different from the international system. Why? Well, probably because... Although it's actually acetaminophen in Japan as well. Go figure. There are actually 10 examples listed on Wikipedia of differences in drug names between the INN and USAN. So that's the story of how one drug can have two different names. But how about the fact that we still don't know exactly how paracetamol or acetaminophen actually works? And how about the massive debate between using the word adrenaline versus epinephrine? You'd better like and subscribe to find out soon. Watch these players here and until the next time, stay groovy.